All right, guys, you know it's Red Bull Music Academy weekend, and you're gonna have like, I don't know, all sorts of artists coming together, and I'm having like a weird moment right now. What are you doing here, though? Finally, hi, um, hi I'm Monty. Hi, thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, yeah, so Red Bull Weekend uh, invited me to be part of the music, one of the 60 artists that we'll be showcasing. Wait, so, <laughs> wait a minute. Let's, let's just draw this back. <laughs> when did this music thing happen? How did it happen? Because I have history with you, and I know you as a great dancer, a creative, a stylist, like you always, yeah, like ahead of time with like the gear game. Music, when did you have time to fit that in? Uh, music has always been part of my life. I mean, through dancing, it was another element to it. So also, um, so I met Jervis Gordon. That's the guy I'm working with, known as OK Shop. And he's a producer from London. And we, while we were working on this project called Ghost Diamond, so we were record. We started recording music. It was spontaneous. I won't lie. And but I was ready mentally, and I was like, I really wanted it so badly. So two years later, which is okay, let's say last year, uh, we had our first video, first EP, and we got nominated for the Jules Peterson Award, World Awards. Uh, we recently January we had a European tour, and so basically Red Bull. It's our first local South African performance. Wait, 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 wait. You're dropping jewels on me right now. Just from, can I say, like messing around. You, be, you became a superstar. You were touring in London. You get nominated for awards. Like some people, they don't even get in a span of two years. In a span of two years, like people come up and they have to work ten years just to yeah. get into a mama. Just a shout out, okay, say born and not even a nomination. And you already on that scale though. No, That's but, crazy. But we've been planting, you know, we've been in the industry, so it was easier to, you know, to be to transcend into a new chapter musically. So I'm thankful for the people that believed in me and saw a, a greater purpose working with me. So yeah. So basically, you are on the same level as the international act in Fred Freddy's Drop, uh, right? Sharing the same stage <laughs> on the third. <laughs> uh, yo, ha! I get yeah, I don't know. What. Actually, I think I think maybe you now I'm gonna do music too. So don't you wanna don't you wanna feature a guy like Omar Sand or I move? I'll be the rapper. But yo, that's so crazy and wow. Okay, now let's break it down now. So, what was the main song that got you that alumni? Because now I'm yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you and say yeah, yeah, but what was that song that put you on? Uh, the song that, yeah. that that got you that shine from the EP Black oh, Diamond. Yeah. Uh, Dear Bunny, yeah, that's the name of the song, and the EP is Dumela One One Three. So yeah, it kind of really helped. Yeah, it was it resonated so much with so many people, and also my childhood, and. I think when you do something from the heart, it will flourish regardless. And With that said, so you mentioned something about childhood. So give us a story of your childhood for people who don't know you. Uh, so I grew up in, you know, in the most loving and caring environment. I had the best parents that instilled braveness before I understood what braveness is. And also having that background and having the best siblings, which are my business partners. And we have a creative... Uh, studio agency called Deribani 113 and I mean having such a strong belief and growing up in such a powerful positive um, environment it helped us to understand our purpose and be one with it so yeah as a woman yo man it's crazy <laughs> as a woman and previously we had um, <clears throat> women's month right in August and I believe that every day or every year should be women's month because if it wasn't for women guys wouldn't be here and you were strong creative beautiful ambitious and great person it was women's month uh, last month and I believe that women's month should be every day because if, if it wasn't for females we would all you all wouldn't be here right and when you come from a very grounded family what does being a woman in the music industry mean to you um, I mean, music is a very powerful educational process, so you need to be careful in what you say. And I feel like 
once you have the mic, be impactful in every way possible. Be the voice that needs to uh, voice out to someone that needs that encouragement. And that's how I view it. And I feel like we can't take, take that for granted because someone is listening and how much, how, the fact that they're listening, that's important. So, yeah. All right, so which stage are you on? I'm on the international stage on the 3rd of September. Venue? Uh, one, one Fox, yeah. So basically, the international stage, catch my homegirl, yes, like it, man. I definitely will be there. Thank you. And let's rock it out. Close it, man. You need to close it. You a star, man. You know, you close this. You, I don't know what you should be doing. <laughs> Uh, catch me at the Red Bull Music Academy Joburg Weekender on the 3rd of September alongside Africa's finest artists and alongside Fred Freddy's Drop. Thank you so much for the beautiful opportunity and see you there. Bye. It's a wrap. <laughs>